Des Mumi, or however you pronounce it, is a Nintendo DS emulator for Windows, and I'm going to show you how to set it up. Per usual, all instructions and links will be in the description for your convenience. The first bit of software you need is 7-zip or software like it so you can extract the compressed emulator file that I'll go over later in this video. Click in the upper right hand corner of the screen for a tutorial on that if you need to learn how to use 7-zip. The next thing that you need is the game that you're wanting to play, so you basically have two options. Either get it illegally and google it, that's not something that I'm going to show you how to do, or get it legally and dump your own game. I have a link to a guide for that in the description, called ROM Dump Tutorial. Now to download the emulator, either by googling it and going to its website, or download it by simply going to the description and clicking on the Nintendo DS emulator link. From then, the download should start on its own. Once you get done downloading the emulator, go to your downloads folder, right click on the file, hover over 7-zip, and click Extract here. As a quick note, I personally like to delete the leftover zip file and create a dedicated folder for the emulator, but that's not actually needed. If you're using a gamepad, make sure to get it ready before you open up the emulator, because if you don't, it might not recognize the gamepad afterwards. Now you just double click on the application to run it. Setting up the gamepad first, go to Config, and click Control Config. Now click on Up, as shown here, and press the button you want to use as Up on the controller. Do the same for the rest, and click OK. To play your game, go to File, Open ROM, and click on the game you're wanting to play. The game should have started. Make sure to press Alt and Enter at the same time if you want to go in or out to full screen. If you want your game to look better, first keep in mind that it may cause slowdown depending on your hardware. But the first thing that I like to do is go to Config, 3D Settings, select OpenGL 3.2 as the renderer, and check the Enable Anti-Aliasing box. Now you can close out of that window. You can also go to View, Magnification Filter, and select various options to make your game look better or worse. But this is dependent on taste, so you may want to test out various options for the best results. Also, unfortunately some of those options can cause size and stretching issues with the emulator as shown here. The only fixes I know of are either don't use those options, or use those options but try to go into full screen and it still might cause issues. So you may have to be selective on which effects you choose. If, for some reason, you can't get the emulator up and running, make sure to go to the bottom of the description for the Essential Links section. It has links for DirectX, graphics drivers, and much more so that it might actually fix any issues you have like starting up the game or something along those lines. Also make sure to check out the Common Issues and Errors with Fixes section for more help at the very bottom of the description. That's where I'll post any issues that I or other people come across and have fixed. Until next time. Have fun.